What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we have our best recruitment center guide. Subscribe to the channel for more content. We are going to go over the best heroes to put for your wish list. Um, we're also going to just basically go over everything you need to know about the gotcha summoning in Eternal Evolution. This game is T minus five days away from global launch. My pre-registration link is down below in the description box and the comment section. If you're not already pre-registered, use my link. It is greatly appreciated. We're going to click on this bad boy. This is where you recruit your heroes. There is a ton of different banners going on. So we're just going to go over all of these. Now you're going to have two limited banners. These ones are very, very special. You need specifically limited recruitment cards. This is the toppest tier when it comes to recruiting cards, recruiting summons, tickets, whatever the hell you want to call it. This is pretty much the only way you can summon for a triple S hero. Now, triple S heroes are the legendaries of this game. They are the strongest. They are absolutely insane. The best way to get the limited recruitment cards is through events. Uh, but if we go to our missions and then go to stage missions, occasionally you can get some limited recruitment cards through this. You just got to complete whatever it says. And the other main way to get the limited recruitment cards is just spending money if we go to special recruitment packs in the top right corner you'll see uh this one is probably your best bet uh, just kind of scales the more money you spend the more tickets you get uh, but again you do not have to spend money to get these limited recruitment cards it's not that hard like don't be scared and think oh my god this game's paid to win it's really not i haven't spent any money in this game and i've got a few triple s heroes myself because it does have a lovely pity system um, so let me uh, slide myself over to the side really quick so your first 60 pulls on a limited banner is going to guarantee you that specific triple s hero now if we click the question mark in the top left corner where it says time left right now three days this is going to give you a breakdown of the percentages for your chance to summon which specific hero she is the triple s hero so it's a 1.41 percent chance to pull her which uh, necessarily this isn't bad honestly i've seen games where a percentage chance to pull a legendary hero or a mythic hero or necessarily the best hero in that specific game be like 0.01 percent or some ridiculous so the fact that it's over one percent is a lot better than most games and then you also have your two additional elite heroes that are like your cover heroes your 60 pulls will carry over so let's say i don't necessarily want a xena uh, if I have it 50 out of 60 and my next 10 pulls is going to guarantee me the triple S cover hero, I could just be like, all right, I'll just wait until this banner is over and then wait to see what the next triple S hero featured will be. And then once you do your 10 pull on that new banner, bam, you'll immediately get whatever triple S hero is shown. So that's a really cool thing to do. Now, after you do reach your first 60 pulls on a limited banner, it will then cycle through to different things. It will then go to blues, which will be rare your next 30 shown will give you 60 puzzle pieces for an elite hero so you'll get a guaranteed a random elite hero from that if we take a look at the basic summoning it's kind of similar uh, except you don't have the access to like get a triple s hero but it does have pretty much the same idea after i do 30 recruitments under the basic banner you'll see i'll get 180 rare hero shards roughly three rare heroes uh, if we go to the advancement after 30, I'm going to get 50 of these soul potions and then the friendship summoning does not have any. So let's head back over to the limited banners really quick. Now, every time you go ahead and you do one of these summons, you will get a data chip. This is also an extra kind of pity system as well. You can then go ahead and use your data chips to get the specific heroes shown. Uh, you'll have the two cover elite heroes and then you'll have two triple S heroes as well along with a gene hybrid this can be used as any material to help evolve a character but i'm going to mention this again i mentioned this in one of my other videos you don't want to summon on these banners until we have a double chip event you'll get double value every time you summon it so instead of getting one chip per summon you'll get two chips i believe the first double chip event happens i think it's like two or three weeks after the initial server opens 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it might come sooner for global launch. We head to our basic summoning area. This is where you can go ahead and use your recruitment cards. These are just regular ones. And this is also where you can go ahead and use your diamonds for summoning. Now this is very unique because this is the only banner that you can use diamonds to summon on. Can't use diamonds for limited, advanced, or friendship, just basic. And this also does have a pity system as well. So you'll so every time you summon, you'll get a basic data chip, which then you can come in here and use to buy one of these elite heroes. Now let's move to the advanced because this is the fun part. This is what everyone is mostly here for, I'm sure, is the wish list. So the advanced area is the only one that actually has a wish list. And this is advanced recruitment cards. You're going to need these in order to pull from this banner. Again, it has a pity system. If we go to the exchange shop, same thing. We will get advanced data chips every time we summon this. And again, you can just come in here and buy whatever heroes you want for that specific amount. So let's go over to the wish list because this is what everyone is interested in, right? What heroes should we put in the wish list? You'll notice that some of these heroes have the word hot on the top right corner. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that these are the best heroes, heroes that are widely used in different game modes. And that's pretty much what you wanna do in this game is you wanna build out heroes for those boss dungeons. So if we go really quick to uh, the perimeter and take a look, we have these three boss dungeons and this one is for gear. And if we take a look at Raiders, you'll notice there is a very specific character that it recommends. So like building out those three heroes is very important because they're gonna help carry you a long way. Now it's not 100% like necessary. It's not like you need to use these three heroes. These are just three that it really recommends that are gonna just be easy. You know, if you don't wanna sit there and read all of your heroes skills and try and figure out which ones to do, it's a very, very quick reference to just go ahead, check those out, and then you would just come over to your wish list and pick those. Serena, now this is a really strong healer in this game, uh, but there are a few other healers that you can get. This is the one that if you spend 99 cents on your first top up, you will get her. So it's very fast to build her out. So this is one that I would recommend um, because if you do spend that 99 cents right away, you're already gonna have her. And then if you have her in your wish list, you have the potential to pull her again and you can advance her very, very fast in this game. Two really strong tanks that I'm gonna recommend, and that's gonna be the first one, Hercules. Uh, this guy is an absolute monster. He just takes damage. And then another tank that I recommend um, is the Boar. He not only gains a shield, but he also increases his defense once his HP gets below 50. Um, so he just has some insane survivability. A uh, really good damage dealer for AoE. This guy is absolutely amazing for the campaign missions as Omar. And You'll also notice that in this list we have Artist. This is our pre-registration hero. Honestly, you can't go wrong with him. He is an absolutely insane melee damage dealer. Uh, another one that I like is uh, the Tiger Taylor. Another really strong hunter damage dealer. Single target, absolutely amazing for crit damage. Now, if you're on the lookout for an assassin, I am going to recommend uh, Rakan, Rakan, Rakakana, Rakana, however the hell you say this whatever this thing is, the Apex Predator guy. This is uh, one of the better assassins. Um, there's another assassin that's in the uh, wish list, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but I don't recommend him. Uh, but this guy right here, very strong, because if we look at his pounce common skill, uh, when the battle starts, he moves and jumps out of the ground behind the enemy with the lowest defense. So he is very strong for back row hate. Uh, most of the time, the enemy that you're facing, their back row is gonna have the lowest defense. So he's immediately gonna jump on their back line and just start damaging any of their uh, hunters or any of their energy damage dealers or any of their support characters, uh, which can be very, very important. Another thing that I also wanna mention is uh, the... Uh, <laughs> The summoners in this game, there is a summoning class right there over my head. The summoner, the summoners in this game are absolutely insane. Uh, they can be very, very annoying if they're in the back row and you don't take care of them because they just keep summoning monsters. Um, so you definitely need someone like this who can attack the back row immediately. Uh, this guy right here, uh, Randall, he is also an assassin, but I don't like him. I've used him a few times and he just, I don't know, I don't like his clone ability. It, it feels kind of useless. I've tried to use him. I have tried, trust me. 
I don't like him. I don't recommend him. Uh, if you need someone for back row hate, definitely go with uh, the Apex Predator guy right here. 100% way better. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.